LNS Gallery is pleased to present The Measure of Man by the talented and visionary artist, Natalia Garcia Lee. The exhibition, as curated by Adler Guerrier, showcases 12 grand oil on canvas renderings, a series of intimate oil gems, and a mixed media installation titled The War Machine to interpret the tactical complexities burrowed within the human psyche. Inspired by the findings of American psychologist Edward C. Tolman, and the behavioral research of ethologist John B. Calhoun, the exploration of mammalian behavior and the cognitive reactions to both physical and societal structures provide the foundation on which the paintings emerge. The output of both Tolman and Calhoun serves as landing points in Garcia Lee's interpretation of the paradoxical nature of the human experience, assumed on the basis that living creatures are inherently alike. An opening reception for the exhibition will take place on Friday, April 22, 2022, from 6 to 9 p.m., where the artist will be present. Natalia Garcia Lee was born in Madrid, Spain in 1971, and is of Cuban, Norwegian, and Chinese descent. She received her BFA in Sculpture from the Pratt Institute, Brooklyn, NY, in 1995, yet has focused on her two-dimensional practice in recent years. From collage to canvas, the artist displays her fascination with the science behind our seemingly logical thoughts and the communities that manifest themselves resulting from such logic. Her life experiences fuel her interest in us as a species and inform her practice, as she seeks to decode distinctive zones of universal human behavior.
Thank mm-hmm. you. My artwork interpretively illustrates the constructs of human behavior, decoding the how and why of what we do as a species. We have organized areas of thought into categories such as science, 
mathematics and architecture, and have elevated them to a degree of excellence. We cannot forget that they all stem from our most primitive minds, rooted in our survival instincts. My artwork dissects the trajectory of this path along with its consequences, reducing our ability to think of the layers of symbols and images found within my work. I find this method to be the most effective way to dialogue with this innate conflict. Hypermodernization has transformed the world we live in morphing our sense of environment, and sense of self, and ultimately providing new problems for our species that find solutions in primal behaviors disguised as advancement.